Floods are the most common natural disaster in the world by a significant margin. They can cause widespread devastation, resulting in the loss of life and damage to infrastructure. In some cases, they can even happen instantly in the form of a flash flood. Regardless of how safe or sturdy you think your car is, it's one of the worst places you can be during a flash flood. Excluding hurricanes, around 60% of all flood-related casualties happen inside vehicles in the United States. Even just one foot of flood water could sweep your SUV away into a larger, deeper body of water. Despite how terrifying an ordeal this might be, you can escape from a situation like this. The first thing that you have to keep in mind is that time is of the essence. You want to respond as quickly as possible. If your car is still operable, you should get to higher ground immediately. But once your car is swept away, you will need to leave it behind. It's most likely broken beyond repair at this point. In fact, even just six inches of water is enough to cause irreparable damage to its parts. As you might have guessed, the deeper the flood water is, the harder it will be to escape. If the water level around you is quickly rising, you have about one minute to respond. This is where the SWO protocol will come in handy. Seat belts off, window open or broken, out. Undo your seat belt, open or break your car windows, and exit the vehicle. By following this method, you minimize the amount of water that makes it into your vehicle as well as the amount of time it takes for you to escape. This protocol was developed by car safety expert Dr. Gordon Giesbrecht with the hope of standardizing the response from motorists in situations like these. With floods continuing to be a problem throughout the urbanized world, it only makes sense for there to be an equivalent to stop, drop, and roll for situations like these. But what can you do if your car is completely submerged? Due to the massive amount of water pressure, it would require a tremendous amount of force to open a car door when underwater. Your best bet would be to break open a window. But before you do that, start to take into account any nearby hazards. Be on the lookout for downed power lines, sharp objects, or anything that could lead to open wounds. This will help you plan out your route to the surface once you are able to swim towards it. When you're ready to attempt an escape, look for anything you can use as a hammer. If it's heavy and hard, chances are it could work. Next, aim for the upper right corner of the window. This is most often a window's weakest point. Since your oxygen supply in a situation like this will be limited, you want all your actions to count. With the window cleared as an exit point, make sure you and your passengers evacuate as quickly as possible. Then swim to the surface, following your planned route. But what if you're unable to break open the window? This would be the worst case scenario. Thankfully, escape is still possible at this point. You're just going to have to wait a little bit. Despite what your instincts may say, you will need to wait until the car is fully submerged and water has completely filled it. This is the point of equalization. When the pressure inside and outside the car has reached equilibrium, only then will Will you be able to simply open the doors and exit the car? If you find yourself needing to swim for a long time after exiting your car, you should try to follow the flow of water as much as possible. Once you make it to higher ground, you can wait or even call for help at this point. If you and the other passengers have your phones with you, chances are they'll still be working thanks to water resistance being a standard feature for modern phones. This is when you can try to relax. You've made it to safety and help is surely on its way.